man, you get cracked upside your head quickly. Mm. So how old are you? What, 24, 25 when you get, get caught up? Mm -hmm. Yep, March 23rd, 1994. So you knew that they was on you yep. before they got to you. Mm -hmm. So did you make any adjustments? Did you try to get out of town or anything like that? Well, for one, if you leave and just vanish, it all make you look like you was guilty. Mm -hmm. They never would have had any evidence on me, but uh, my best friend at the time, my boy Carl, his girlfriend and him got into it. Mm -hmm. And he was in love with her. And he probably told all of the stuff that he was He didn't going tell on. all the stuff, but when he, he got into it with her, he was on some baby, baby, I love you type of foolishness. And him trying to win her back, my equipment is in the back room, locked. So I couldn't get to that place where, you know, our back cave and take my equipment out. I mean, take it over there. And of course, since my equipment is at my house and there, they raided my main address at my mother's house. Mm -hmm. So they ended up taking all my equipment. But if them two didn't get into that argument, I was supposed to take my equipment out of the house and take it to the back cave. Mm. But you know. Nothing like a woman for the downfall of a man. Yes, sir. Every single time. Do you think that if you, uh, because you was running with a crew, right? Yeah. Do you think I that if you. Crews. Oh, you was One in the street in and then, you know, the white guys who. Yeah. I would do the Do you think that if you were more solo, like not even having the street dudes or, you know, to, to kind of distance yourself in a general sense, do you think that you would have still got caught up eventually? Yeah, but I had already, by the time they got me on um, cell phones, we was already, we already had plans on ATMs. So I was about to go into ATM hacking. So you was never going to stop anyway? No, sir. The money was too lucrative. Could you, like at that time, could you ever think of, oh man, I, I need to just do a regular job or I'm going to make this amount of money. And no, I'm I don't stop. like anything regular. Even to this day, you just to completely even to this day, Nothing regular interests me. I don't like regular people. I don't do regular things. Mm -hmm. I go above and beyond. If you look at my academic record, which we know nowadays is social media, people can easily look into your background. Yep. I'm in grad school. My, ever since I've been in grad school, my GPA is 3.8. Yeah. Um, I won awards. You know, I've won residence and scholar. Um, Charles Wright Museum, you know, I lectured on EMU campus as a graduate student yep. because they seen my potential and how serious I was. I debated various professors at universities across the state. Did you, at a very young age, because I'm assuming that this is one of the reasons why your parents had bought you the computer in the first place, at the very young age, were you identified as a gifted student? Yes, but hard-headed. Why you said that? because school to me was boring. Mm -hmm. You know, Western education is about re the regurgitation of information. Correct, test, but pass and test. Yeah, pass and test, you remember this, you pass. It's not that much in regards to critical thinking. Right. Even in college, it's not much critical thinking until you go to grad mm -hmm. school. Yeah. Or unless you in the more um, critical sciences or critical forms of engineering. Well, the first couple of years is, is prerequisites. And yeah, exactly. So it's not actually anything that's that that they teaching you, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. So, did you go to regular public schools or? Yep, went to Detroit Public School. Graduated from um, Henry Ford High School, mm -hmm. class of '91. Shout out to them. Yep, shout out to everybody at Henry Ford. Um, I actually in high school, out in the mock elections, I was supposed to get most militant. Because in really? high school, I would we'll do nothing but debate and start food fights. So if you went to Henry Ford. And you was in that fourth hour lunch hour. Yeah, me and my boys, we was the ones who started the food fights that caused no lunches to be served unless you brought them in. <laughs> and I'm the one who almost hit the vice principal in the head with that banana. That's crazy. Yeah, but they wouldn't allow me to get uh, most militant because it was too political. But then our principal at the time, he ended up getting locked up, I believe, for uh, embezzlement. Dang. So he's trying to come down on me because I'm too political, but he's stealing money. So, but your parents identified you as gifted, though. Um, yes, but, um, you know, it's, it's not a good thing to be intelligent in the black community. I all you do is all, get bullied. I say that teased. all the time that good is bad and bad is good. Right. I, I literally say that mm -hmm. online all the time. I say the things that they use as an, an, as an insult, even against me is something that I take as a compliment. They say, oh man, you able to talk, you know, properly. Okay. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? The things that they would say to you as a kid is actually a compliment. You know, oh, you a square. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? I go to school, I like to study. Mm -hmm. And those are the very things. That's, you are 100% correct. But you didn't feel like an outcast, though, at the same time, though. Um, I didn't feel like an outcast because although I like technical things, mm -hmm. I just like doing regular stuff as well. Yeah. But after a period of time, I get bored with it. Yep. So I have to go back and um, be recluse and just go into do my technical thing. I agree. I agree 100%. Okay, so when you go to college, did you ever have any interest in like STEM programs or anything like that? Or was you just going through the motions, you know? I was always focused from the time I started. When I started at Wayne State, I wanted to be a, path <clears throat> a pathologist. Okay. Um, spoke to my uncle. He told me what you want to do is forensics because I had this fascination with death. Yeah. Not the grotesque part of it, but the science of death. Mm -hmm. You know, diseases and decompositions and, you know, how flies land on the body and yeah. whatnot. Um, so I was already always interested in that. Okay. How so much can be learned from a dead body. So that was my direction. That's what I wanted to do. But I found out that Wayne State University didn't offer a forensic science degree. Okay. And for me to do what I wanted to do, which I later found out was forensics, I would have to leave Wayne State and I went to Mary Grove College. Yeah, right up there on uh, Six Mile. Correct. Yep. So what about, um, okay, so let me go back to the case. So you get caught up. Where do they arrest you at? They didn't. They never arrested you? No, I, I, had, I was what they call a direct uh, court commit. I turned myself in. Okay. You know, when I... When, I, when they raided my house, I wasn't there. I was actually fighting another case with AAA because I had took my car to Tamaroff Dodge and, and <laughs> they broke into Dodge. my car. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Tamaroff Dodge might still, I think they still there. They think they still there. And you said they broke into your car. They broke into my car. I took my car out there because I didn't want my car to get broken into because I had sounds and you know, I had surveillance equipment in, in my ride. So I took it out to the suburbs so it wouldn't get broken into. And it got broken into behind a barbed wire fence that's locked. Mm. So it was an inside job. Yeah, of course and it was. me and AAA was trying to say I had something to do with it. Even though Tamaroff was on my side, they was like, he ain't had nothing to do with this. We knew it was an inside job. But because I had all this expensive equipment in the car and I had receipts, uh, they didn't want to pay that much money out. So, so you we was, had to you go was to court. fighting back and forth with them. Yeah, so I was with my attorney on that <clears throat> case trying to get my money from my vehicle that got broken into when they raided my house.